Have you ever wondered how different a violin might sound to the person playing it compared to someone in the audience? This is a question that uh, we and the players that come through our shop face every day. In fact, uh, many musicians choose to bring a friend along when comparing different instruments uh, in order to be able to judge how what they hear under the ear comes across at a distance, even in a medium-sized space like ours. So we're going to explore this by using two distinct uh, recording techniques. First, the traditional stereo pair, which captures what you'd hear as an audience member. And second, we're going to use innovative uh, in-ear binaural microphone recording that will give us the player's perspective. The matched stereo pair involves placing two microphones uh, at a distance, mirroring how your ears pick up sound naturally in a space. Uh, this setup gives a broad, immersive listening experience, and in fact, this is what we use in all our video recordings. So judging by your comments, we think they provide a realistic impression of how these instruments come across in person. Now, by contrast, uh, the in-ear binaural recording uses tiny microphones that are placed in the player's ears, and this technique captures exactly what the player hears, the different vibrations from the violin as they res resonate through their body and the acoustics of the room. So Ariel will be playing a very fine 1855 violin by Jean-Baptiste Villon. And first we're going to record it as we normally do, using the stereo pair. And then we're going to give him these tiny microphones, uh, which will be placed in his ears, just like headphones. And we're going to get to hear it how he hears it when he's playing. By the way, for this video, it's best if you put your headphones on. We're going to be comparing different recording techniques, so headphones are ideal for this. So for all our instrument recordings, we use two Neumann TLM 103s. Uh, and the reason we chose these is because they're quite clinical and transparent, and they let the instruments come across uh, as naturally as possible. Uh, we place them above the, the violins, maybe about two meters away from the player. And that's what we're going to hear now. So that was a bit of Manuel de Falla, uh, use it, recorded using the stereo pair. Now Ariel is going to put the binaural uh, microphones on. They look like a pair of headphones, but they actually have two tiny microphones inside his ears. And uh, if I switch to the, the microphone sound now, you'll hear me uh, talking all around him. So you really get uh, a spatial image of the sound that's happening around him. And that's what we're going to hear on the violin now. And that was the binaural recording. Uh, could you hear a difference? Let us know in the comments. I think the binaural version sounds a lot more intense. You could hear all the details of uh, what's happening while, uh, while Ariel's performing. And uh, I think, especially if you're not a player, this, this can give you a very good insight into how a Jean-Baptiste Fillon violin sounds from a player's perspective. So if you want us to do more videos like this one, maybe other instruments, perhaps a cello even, uh, let us know. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next one.